Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how to set up and install a short pixel image optimizer for your WordPress installation. So those of you that run WordPress know that um, how awesome and versatile it can be as a content management system and how you can use it for your website and your blog and almost any aspect of anything publishing online. So it's um, a great tool to use. Unfortunately, the drawback with WordPress is out of the box, it's not quite as optimized for speed. For instance, if you upload a lot of images to your WordPress, um, say these are digital images that maybe you've taken with your cell phone camera or your digital camera, and then you put them on your website, well, you're gonna notice they load really slow unless you optimize them. So back in the old days, we used to tell people, well, you have to get out Photoshop and compress them and save them as web friendly and, and do all this stuff. Well, that was a really, really pain in the butt, and a lot of times people got hired developers and designers to do all that. Well. You don't have to do that anymore. There is a plugin for WordPress called Short Pixel Image Optimizer, and there's many others out there. This is just one I want to one I want to highlight. And so basically, this automatically goes in and you'll optimize all your images on your inside your media library inside of WordPress. So what we do is um, we need to download it. So if you're inside of WordPress, and what I'm going to do is I'm inside of um, one of mine for the Name Hero blog, and I'm going to show you how to um, install it. Um, I've already installed this, but what I would do is I would go to install, or I would go to add new um, under plugins, and then I would search for it here. So I would just simply type in short pixel, and you can see I've already got it typed in, short pixel. And you can see right here. So if it wasn't installed, I would just click install now and it would install. If you want to manually do it, you can download the files from right here and upload them to your server. Either way, it's super easy though, just to click install. Um, once you do that though, you're going to have the setup page here and you have to put in input your um, API key. Uh, this is easily obtained from their website. I think you just enter your, um, I think you just enter your username and then it automatically um, will set that up for you. So pretty simple um, to do that. Um, I don't even think they require uh, you to fill out your whole name and stuff too, so that makes it pretty nice. Um, compression type, um, just leave it on the um, lossy compression. Um, and it, it explains why, and you can do a free test and all that stuff. But you can go through all of these options, so include thumbnails. So um, that's a big thing here is if the um, you know if you have thumbnails on your blog that you want to include those. Um, Image backup, now this is something if you, when it optimizes these images, if they don't look too good and if it, if it really hurts the quality, then you wanna be able to flip back, right? Um, so I do recommend doing that if you have the um, space to do that. Now, if you don't have the space to do that, then don't worry about it. Um, I do recommend just having a backup though, at least on your, um, at least on your website um, or on your computer, just in case. So, um, But you can do it on your server if you have the room. Um, Adjust your images for computer and mobile screen display. Um, so that's also kind of an important thing that um, obviously you want to make it, um, make sure it's um, in RGB format. So that um, will make it more web friendly. Um, and we can remove um, this XF tag too, um, which will help, um, which, in, which it takes off the metadata um, to the image. So we know that when you take a picture with your iPhone, it actually encrypts um, or includes metadata so, such as your geolocation, uh, when the image was taken, a bunch of information about the um, camera and all that. So this is going to strip all that and save you uh, much of memory. Um, you can also resize larger images. So if you are a photographer, for example, or if you're someone that just has a bunch of really big pictures, you know, they don't need to be so big on your website. So you could uh, click here to, to a maximum pixels. Now I'm not going to do this and um, on this example, but you, you can save up to 80% by doing that. So if you have a bunch of really big ones, it, it is recommended to do that. So that's just the general stuff. Um, you can go through the advanced settings. So you can, this is going to scan just my basic um, media directory on WordPress. Now, if you have another directory that you have um, folders, you can select it here um, and do that. Um, most people, it's going to be right in your media directory. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, and I'm going to leave this other stuff just default. Um, you can go through these other options yourself, um, but it's really not needed. Um, then there's the statistics, which we can see once we um, get this ran. And um, then they also have their recommended resources. Um, Lightspeed Cache is something else I'm doing a complete tutorial series on, so make sure to check that out on the Name Hero blog. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here and um, let's, um, let's go do this. Um, so I'm going to click Save and go to Bulk Process. 
Okay, so you can see I've got 402 original images, um, 1,431, so there's going to be 18, 1,800 images. So this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and start optimizing, and um, and this is just going to run. So it's going to take some time. Obviously, I've got 1,400 images, so I'm just going to let this run, and then I'm going to come back and, um, and resume the video once it's finished, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, now this is completed. Um, it took about an hour and 15 minutes to get um, all the images in my media gallery um, optimized and sized down. So depending on how many you have, um, you're going to just have to wait. And unfortunately, you have to leave the browser window open. And I learned that the hard way. Uh, if you close your browser, it doesn't do it in the background. So you have to leave it open and, and then it runs. So that's, that's what I did. And I'm just leaving my computer for an hour and, and it finished up. Now there's one thing with short pixel, um, they only allow 150 images or credits a month that are free. So that works out pretty good if you have an average website and if you're doing this every month, you know, you'll keep up with it. Now, if you're like me and you haven't optimized them ever and you have a couple thousand, well, you're going to have to buy their paid plan. So what I did is I paid them 10 bucks for one time for 15,000 credits or um, for 10k so that that got me through all my 1800 images so depending on um, how you do your account you might want to do that as well um, so you can can get all your images optimized but now that's that's all there is to it uh, you can see that um, you can restart optimizing um, after you make some more posts and it will check and it won't redo images it's already optimized but it'll just do new images to make sure so as long as you stay on top of this then the free package um, the 150 credits a month should be plenty to last you but now your site's optimized, and you're going to notice that it's going to load quicker with more optimized images. Google's going to rank you better. Uh, you're going to have a better browsing experience. So that's how you do it. That's uh, one of the plugins that I recommend. It's not the only one out there. There is tons of different plugins out there. Um, so you're free to use whichever one, but that's um, my experience with ShortPixel. Definitely recommend it for your WordPress website. Thanks so much.